Isa pa po, welcome po sa ating daily devotional at salamat sa ating pong Panginoon sa pagkakataong ito na minsan pa mapag-usapan ulit natin ang kanyang salita. Sa oras na pong ito ay ating pong pag-usapan ang topic na shaky legs. Naranasan niyo ba sa buhay niyo na parang sa sobrang gutom mo nanginginig yung tuhod mo? Or do you still remember your experience during your childhood na na nag start maglakad? O kung meron mo kayong mga anak na nag start maglakad na parang takot na takot sila dahil they are experiencing firsthand yung pag-step and then suddenly babagsak. So, let me ask you again these two questions. Have you ever seen a young child toddling about? Describe what he or she look like. Di ba? Yung, yung nagtatry na maglakad, ano nangyayari sa kanya. Di ba? On average, how many times do you ask God for help in a day? Ilang beses ko kayong mingi ng tulong sa Panginoon sa loob ng maghapon. And in Psalm 37 verse 23 to 34, it says, the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in Him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with His hand. For the Lord upholds him with His hand. You probably don't remember learning to walk, but you might want to ask your parents about it. It's usually quite a sight to watch a young child learn to use his or her own feet. But you didn't do it on your own. There was always someone there to make sure you didn't take a tumble. There was always someone there to hold your hand. In much the same way, we need to learn to walk spiritually. And we don't do this alone either. God is always watching he knows every step we take and He is always ready to catch us if we start to fall. Napakaganda po. Yung Diyos nandyan para alalayan ka at when you experience that kind na para kang babagsak, nandyan siya para saluhin ka niya. And He's always willing to hold us by the hands while we take our uncertain steps on shaky legs. Sometimes we get stubborn and we try to do it alone. We try to be sneaky or we get arrogant. Or maybe we even try to climb over a toddler gate. But all of this is silly. If we will just accept God's love and protection, we will be so much better off. We were not designed to walk through this life on our own. And we don't have to do. Yung po yung buhay natin. Let's give trusting God and depending on Him. A total dependence is necessary sa Panginoon. Kaya manalangin po tayo. Let's ask the Lord to guide us as we face this day and allow the Holy Spirit to strengthen us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for guiding us. Thank you for teaching us. Help us to rely on you and hold your hand while we need to. Christ name we pray. Amen and Amen. Isan po, pa po ay salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay sa ating mga daily devotionals. And if you have prayer requests, let us know so that we can pray for you. Let's continue to worship God throughout this day. God bless you.